Is this Jaime Banes LLC? Um, yeah, who's this? Uh, your girlfriend? Oh, you big forehead. I'll be right there. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> what are you eating? Cheetos. You baby. What? They're good. What do you want? We're here for the tour. Oh, the new warehouse tour? Yeah. All right, come right in. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today's video is going to be very exciting because as I saw by the title, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of our new office slash warehouse space. The entire place is still empty and it needs some work because we just moved in a couple weeks ago. But I'm going to still show you guys where I'm going to keep all the vending machines, all the product and all that good stuff. But yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's start the tour. I hope you guys enjoy. If y'all do, go down below. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. All right, so starting off at the front entrance, over here we have the front door, which in my opinion is kind of ugly. It's like a dark brown color. There's no handle to pull the door to lock it, so every single time we want to lock it, I have to grab it by the lock, pull it, and then turn it. Like right now, I can't even lock it. It's annoying. Right over here, we have an alarm system, which doesn't even work, so if you guys want to rob us, y'all can. Wait, are we gonna get, we might actually get cameras though. We might get cameras in the back, in the front, and inside just in case, but I don't think we need an alarm system. Why don't you love me? We also have a bat if you wanna try anything. Exactly, we do have a bat. <laughs> All right, so now I'm moving on over here to this area. Before we continue, I do want to say that the entire front office space is for Exotic World only. So I'm going to be packing orders over here, storing all the drinks and snacks that I'm going to be shipping out. And then all the vending machine stuff, like the product, the vending machines, is all going back in the warehouse, which you guys will see in a second. But yeah, I finally bought an actual shipping table. You guys saw the one I had before was a regular white foldable table, and it was way smaller. I needed something bigger. I finally have some dividers up here for all the boxes. I have some down here as well. An extra shelf for all the labels, all the extra, you know, supplies that I need to pack orders. Over oh, here. look, Cheetos. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Uh, and I finally invested <laughs> into a bubble wrap dispenser as well. I do like it, but at the same time, it takes up way too much space. It covers that whole corner over there. Why? That's what I'm gonna do to your face. Do you think a desk will fit right here? It would fit perfectly, I think like it might, right yeah, at it. It might barely fit, but I do need the computer. I do need my desk. And maybe on the wall, the TV. I gotta be watching something while I'm packing Extra. orders. Extra! I have to have a TV. <laughs> Over here we have another bigger blank wall. Right here I wanted to hang up these canvases. I only have two, but I was thinking I might have to get an extra one because it's kind of big. Like if I only have two, no. one and then two. I think it'd look better if you did have three. Some quick ASMR for y'all. So now moving on to the back office space, we do have two rooms and the restroom, but let's start with this room over here. So this is where I'm going to be keeping all of the drinks for Exotic World. Yeah, I can see it is pretty filled up right now because we still have to set up all the shelves and everything. It's going to be looking more like a store. It is. That's something we were thinking about. We weren't sure if we want to have like a pickup option where customers can come and pick up their orders so they can save money on shipping. But of course, that means our address would have to be public and especially you sometimes when you come and fill up the machines and you're back there by yourself. Like, you never know who's watching the videos, what their intentions are, so that's why we're kind of iffy. So, hey, probably not, now that I think about it. You don't gotta worry about me, baby, with no. these guns. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna mess with her. Look, and no one wants this. Hey, I like that shirt, though. It's a cool shirt. Ugh, perfect timing. We just got a new package delivered. Let's open it up and see what we got. Ooh, look at this. We got some more Oreo wafer rolls. Finally, these go by so quick. I can't keep them in stock. So I ordered a whole bunch of them. Is there anything for me? This looks like we're <laughs> smuggling something from other countries, though. <laughs> it says Red Bull, but it's, oh, it's a glass what? bottle. Again, if y'all want to buy any of these crazy, weird, rare snacks, the link will be down below. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this room. Make sure it doesn't stink. I uh, uh, mm -mm. Hey, she's Corner. the one that went to the restroom. That was you, that was, liar. You were gonna blame it on me? All right, I guess we're doing the restroom now. It is kind of small, and y'all might be like, hi, man, like, can you turn on the light so we can see? 
<laughs> the lighting in here is trash, so we for sure have to change the light bulb or maybe add some extra lighting in here. But yeah, it's very old school, it's small. But yeah, nothing special. This is basically where we lose five pounds every single time. <laughs> Okay, so again, the room back there was for all the drinks and this last room is for all these snacks. It is a bigger room because I do have a ton more snacks than I do drinks. But yeah, it's pretty big. The snack shelves are going to be going against the wall also. If you guys remember before, I had them in aisles, but I feel like if they're all against the wall, it'll look way better. I can move around better. And also, it'll make a really cool background. Like, I can make so many intros here, TikToks. It's going to look really, really cool once we actually have everything set up. Right, let's show them some of the cool snacks. Like the Oreos? These are new. They're not new, but they stopped making them, but they started making them again. The Kit Kat Cheesecake. These are flying off the... I was gonna... They're flying off the crates right now. <laughs> not off the shelves. But yeah, I have bought a lot of them. They're currently sold out, so they're not on the website, but I'm gonna be getting more soon. But yeah, Kit Kat Cheesecake. That's crazy. So, I had to change the doorknob on this one. I put a lock on it, so every single time I leave, I have to lock it, or if not, she'll come in here and start eating snacks. She's costed me a lot of money from all the snacks she's ate, so I gotta come out here, lock it, and then I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so then how do you get it out? You wait for it to pass? Yeah, that's why we have the restroom here. All right, so now for the last section of the front office, we have our ginormous, Huge break room. We have our table down there where we eat our lunch. At least we actually have a sink. Also, of course, we gotta have the 100K play button. And I feel like we might need the, the million one next, no? It'll look pretty cool right next to it. Well, you gotta start posting more, don't you? Yes. <laughs> yes, we, I think we all know that. <laughs> That's pretty much it for the kitchen, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. We were going to put a mini fridge, but it might not fit because it's too small. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's no mini fridge in the world that will fit in between that little cracker. Maybe. There's no way. And now for the best part, the back warehouse where all the vending machines are going to be going. You ready for this? Let's go to the back. And look at this, it's a giant space. Hopefully it's not too echo, but yeah, we finally got a warehouse. This place looks awesome. Of course, we still have to paint the window, the windows. <laughs> we do have to paint all the walls because they look pretty ugly. And it looks like they didn't even finish painting them. Look at the top. There's still a bunch of stuff we want to do to the warehouse so we can make it a lot cooler for the videos. So go down below and comment what we should add, what we should paint, what we should do to make the warehouse so much cooler. All right, so before we move on to the back area over there, I'm gonna talk about the front. So this corner over here, we have some trash that so we still have to throw away. But in this corner, I'm gonna be keeping all the extra exotic world supplies, like extra product and all the extra boxes that I can't fit over there. I'm gonna just have it in this smaller corner. But for this corner over here, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. And you guys saw how small the kitchen was. So I was thinking we could turn this entire corner into like a living area. So maybe add a couch, add a big TV on that wall, maybe a mini fridge, a vending machine. Like a vending machine where I actually use it. Right here? Yeah. Or over where here. Where you on actually this. use it? <laughs> yeah. Like for me, like I'll fill it up with drinks, water, because I can't fit nothing over there in the kitchen. But also what I was thinking, if I do add a living area over here in the back, I might have to add wood flooring on top of the concrete just so it looks a lot better. Right in the middle of the warehouse, we have this line. So that entire space, we can put floor. Moving on to the back half of the warehouse, we are gonna be separating everything into two parts. So on this wall over here is where all the extra vending machines are gonna be going. Yeah, I can see we do have two brand new machines already, but also check this out. So on the opposite wall over there is where all these snacks and drinks are going to be going. So I bought a whole bunch of these plastic pallets and that's where we're going to be keeping all the drinks for the machines. So I'm not going to have any shelves? All the snacks are still going to be going on the shelves, but all the drinks are going to be going on this because I feel like we can just go to Sam's, buy a pallet full of drinks, Coke, Monster, and just put it on top of this. We did just buy two brand new vending machines recently because apparently there's a snack vending machine shortage, which I didn't know until the person that bought these told me about the shortage. He probably just wanted me to buy them, no? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Maybe. I don't actually know if there's a vending machine shortage or not, but I still bought them because I'm going to use them anyways. They're brand new. Yeah, I can see we still have the wrapping on it. Look how nice this snack <laughs> machine looks. 
Oh, you ready for this? And also, these two machines are exactly the same. This one's black, this one's white, but look at this one. It has a touchscreen instead of a keypad. This is considered a top of the line machine and that's why it just looks so cool. We should definitely turn this one on. Yeah, I haven't done that yet, so get ready. All right, here we go. Does it turn on? And it works. <laughs> look at this. Oh, that looks so nice. Wait, the screen's not on though. You gotta give it a second. Buffering. Hello. Somebody in there. Oh, there we go. Look how cool that looks. <laughs> yeah, look at this. You see how there's that advertisement? All of this stuff? You can program it to put whatever you want. Like if you have something new in the machine, you can have the picture of it right there. You can have your number, your company name, that advertisement screen, you touch it and it gives you the keypad. A lot of people ask me where I buy my vending machines from and I do buy them from vending.com. I will have the link down below, which if you let them know that Jaime sent you, they will be giving you $100 off per machine that you buy. So that's a pretty good deal, especially if you're gonna be buying multiple machines. But yeah, I love these machines and I can't wait to put them on location. And this right here is where all the trash goes. There we go, it's time to take it out. You can fall. You got this, baby. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> we are going to be back here a lot, so I was thinking, what if we get a basketball court and put it right here? <laughs> Every time we're done packing orders, servicing vending machines, come back here, shoot a couple hoops, and yeah, I think it'll be pretty fun. I did also buy myself a new investment, a skateboard. Check it out. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so I had to buy a pallet jack because two years in the vending business and we had no way to move the vending machines besides the other dollar we had, but this makes it so much easier. <laughs> go, mamas, go, go. All right, everyone, that's gonna be pretty much it for the video. Our camera ended up dying, but we still showed you guys the entire warehouse. We're actually at the new apartment right now, and we weren't planning on making a tour because, you know, we don't have anything vending related here. But if you guys still wanna see a tour of the new place, then go down below and let us know in the comment section. But before we end the video, I did do a giveaway in the last video which I did to everyone to go down below in the comment section and leave their Instagram name but everyone left a comment but didn't leave their Instagram so it was kind of hard to pick a winner but shout out to Andrew he's the one that I randomly pick so Andrew if you're watching the video check your DM you won the exotic snack mystery box but with that being said that's pretty much it for the video I hope you guys did enjoy if y'all did go down below drop a like subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out